A popular mummy blogger, loved for being raw and honest, has tragically died after a lengthy mental health battle. Before we get started, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. So stay tuned and sit back, relax, and enjoy. The well-known mummy blogger who shot to online popularity reporting her fights with discouragement and liquor abuse has unfortunately kicked the bucket at 47 years old. On May 9th, Heather Armstrong, who was best known for her blog under the name Deuce, committed suicide. Armstrong's sweetheart Pete Ashdown honored the mother of two, named Sovereign of the Mummy Bloggers by supporters, in a post shared to her authority Instagram page. He wrote, Heather Brooke Hamilton, also known as Heather B. Armstrong, Deuce, or the love of my life. July 19, 1975, May 9, 2023. It takes a sea not to break. Love everyone and keep your loved ones close. According to USABC News, Armstrong, who shared Marlo, 13, and Letta, 19, with her ex-husband John Armstrong, had been sober for over 18 months but had recently relapsed. Before she had children, she started her blog Deuce in 2001. She turned it into a successful business, and when she had her first child in 2004, it became one of the first and most popular mummy blogs. Fans adored Armstrong for her open writing about her children, relationships, and other difficulties, including life after the Mormon church. In 2004, Deuce became the first personal website to accept a significant number of paid advertisements, paving the way for other bloggers and influencers. According to a report from the New York Times, Armstrong even made an appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 2009, when he had 8.5 million readers per month. Armstrong published her memoir It Sucked and Then I Cried. People said that I had a baby, a breakdown, and a much-needed margarita. However, she stated to Vox in 2019 that the dissolution of her marriage in 2012 brought about a deep, treatment-resistant depression and caused her life to fall apart. Armstrong claimed that the split had deteriorated her mental health, causing even her most devoted fans to be furious. Following quite a while of battling, Armstrong selected herself in a clinical preliminary at the College of Utah's Neuropsychiatric Foundation in 2017 where she was placed in a synthetically prompted extreme lethargies for 15 minutes all at once for 10 meetings. The treatment, which approximated mind passing, was being tried to check whether it could fix discouragement. She stated to the publication, When you are that desperate, you will try anything. I needed to know that I had tried all options to be the happy, healthy mother I thought my kids deserved. Thank you for watching our news spottle. We're passionate about celebrity gossip, sharing our expertise, and connecting with people. Our goal is to entertain people. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for our latest videos.